Hey guys, it's Skittles here. Making um, salsa tatemada. Um, this is... I don't know, I think it's a really common recipe. I had someone ask me on how you do it or how do you make it. It's pretty simple, <clears throat> basic. We have some green tomatillos here, a piece of white onion. You can use any onion you like. I personally am using the white one because that's what we have here. Um, these chiles, I don't know what they're called. I know some are called cuerno de chivo, but some of them, they're different. There's like two or three different type of chilies in here. And I just, they're from our backyard. Well, my father-in-law's backyard, he grows them. So that's kind of what I do. I'm going to lower this a little. So I have it on low right now. Excuse the mess, but we've been cleaning and building. We've been, we have so much that we've been doing lately. It's no joke. Um, but today I'm going to cook a steak. And I already made some beans. Freshly made beans. Uh, these are the Peruvian beans. My father-in-law doesn't like the pinto beans or black beans, so we cook Peruvian here. So, pretty much this is what it is. Um, so you let these sit here. They're gonna, you know, the skin is gonna get like a little burnt. That's fine. That's the purpose of this. So, I don't have the foil directly on the stove. I have it on the comal. I don't know if you can see that. A comal, which is a tortilla warmer. Um, I get it pretty warm. And then once it's really hot, like right now, what I do is I lower the heat, which I put it on low. Um, and then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just to see the tomatillos. I don't want them to get like really burnt. I'm going to take the garlic off though and put it in the blender already. We're not going to blend them yet. I'm going to wait for everything else to be ready. Um, just because and I have some water boiling there. Um, it's not much. So I'm going to let everything get ready. These little guys, these little pe red peppers right here. Oh my gosh, dude, they make your ass burn. But anyways, <laughs> if that's what you want, then that's what you gotta do. <clears throat> um, so yeah, Ooh. pretty much I'm just gonna wait for these to be ready. I'm gonna turn them, turn that right there. I'm going to turn the onion real quick, just a little. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to close this and I'm going to put it on really low. So I'm going to go even lower. So this side is like one burner, this side is like two burners or whatever. Um, that's as that's, that's, that's I can explain it to you guys. And so now pretty much they're going to cook. It's going to get soft. It's going to get soft. They're going to cook in there. And... We're going to wait a few minutes for them to be ready. They're almost ready. Once that's ready, we put them in the blender, put a little bit of water, not too much. The consistency needs to be like medium thick. Um, the water's ready, so I'm going to just let that sit. I turned it off. <clears throat> and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm just kind of checking up on them. Just because some of the chile, see the tomatillo is getting really soft and mushy, which is what you want. Um, you can keep continue turning them. It's totally up to you. I do just because I kind of like them cooked or whatever, like all around, which they will be regardless whether you turn them or not. But this is just. How I do it you're more than welcome to do it your way it doesn't matter either way the salsa will come out good and that's that's the most important thing 
of every out of everything so okay so this chila is ready Ooh. <clears throat> sorry if the camera moves all over the place but i don't have a stand or anything and so this is pretty much where i'm putting them in i mean and i know it looks like it's a little bit but the tomatillo is gonna make it like a lot more and the onion and then i have some big chiles right here which this is the cuerno de chivo usually hold on it'll turn out like this um excuse the mess you guys but my mother-in-law so th this is i know that one's still a little green but this is more red and then they turn out like this so they are supposed to dry so these are dried these are dried peppers already this is like the dry chili kind of like the chile de arbol um they have there's like three different kind of chilies in there i don't know why that's there but not my problem <clears throat> my mother-in-law left to mexico so i'm cooking for my father-in-law and my my little family so that's what we're doing today you guys i've been so busy um i know i deleted all my videos i took everything out off i had a lot of mukbangs or mukbang whatever it's called i don't know however you pronounce it i had a bunch of those <clears throat> I also had a get ready with me and you know a few videos I'm still kind of shy with the camera and you know but today I just you know I'm bored so I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah I'm nervous I guess you could say that I just wanted to show you guys how I make this salsa um, you can know some people boil the chiles which I have too you know, you boil the chile, the tomate, the tomatoes. I, when I boil it, I don't use the tomatillo really. The main thing I use would be the Roma tomatoes. Um, I pretty much same ingredients. Some people add uh, cumin, cominos. Um, some people add clavo. It, it just kind of depends the flavors you want, the taste you want. But this one is the way I do this. It just has onion, tomatillo verde, um, peppers. Those you can use whatever you like. I like my sauce really, 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 really spicy. And then garlic for flavor. <clears throat> and a little bit of uh, boiled water just to kind of... Hope it all blends together. Oh, and salt. But that's like the last ingredient. So you want to put everything in the blender. We're just waiting for these to finish. And then we'll put everything in this blender right here. And then what you do is you add a, a little bit of salt. I'm going to say a teaspoon. That might be a little too much. Give or take on your guys' taste. Um... I kind of go, I start tasting it. I put like half a teaspoon and then depending on how much it is also. Because I, I never measure, I never, oh, I need a cup of this and two cups of that. No, I just go with the flow. So, you know, I go by taste. The more salsa, the better. That way I don't have to make it throughout the week. You can pretty much put it in a container and store it in the fridge and you'll be good to go. <clears throat> Sorry, I sound like I'm running out of breath, but I am talking a lot. And it's super freaking hot out here. I live in Central California right now, and man, let me tell you, it's like over a hundred and something degrees, and it's not fun. AC, it's blowing hard. We even have the window AC units, and it's just ridiculous. It's really hot, humid stuffy cloudy day <clears throat> not so cool but yeah guys so this is what i'm doing i'm gonna pause this video i'm not trying to make it that long um i'm just gonna leave this for a few more minutes and then i'm gonna come back and we'll continue this okay guys be right back 
Hey guys, I'm back. So they're done. As you can see, they have let out their juices. Um, everything's cooked and mushy. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm putting them in the blender. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, they're really hot guys. So I personally always use my hand. I don't know why, but I do. Um, but if you have something to grab them with <clears throat> and put them in, let's see if we have any light here. There you go, a little bit of light. Anything to put them with, grab them with. And hold on. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. My sister-in-law came over. That's who was knocking, so. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, we're just going to finish putting these in the blender. They're all mushy. Like, I don't know, you guys can see that. Ooh. I personally don't put the rest of this in there, so it's whatever. You turn that off. Add a little bit of hot water. <clears throat> As you guys can see, it's not much. Everything else has. So, we're gonna get some salt. And just add a tiny bit. I hope that's not, I think that's enough. So we're putting all that back. <clears throat> And now to blend. Let's see how this goes, guys. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the blender. Let's see, this is not my blender. This is my mother-in-law's blender, so... I guess... <laughs> green salsa I mean the tomatillo makes it green I'm gonna add this much of salt literally nothing um, and just blend it one more time excuse the noise guys but I want you guys to see exactly how I do everything so Lower down your volumes. We're gonna, sorry I didn't warn you the first time, right? But, one, two, three. Oh, and there you go. I guess it has the option of high or low. I don't know, guys, but hold on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a container, and then, yeah. So if you know, you Mexican, you got that Tupperware. Um, this is her salsa container, so I'm just gonna put it in here. put a little bit more pepper but overall it's good let's taste it it 
has a little spice to it. I mean, it's not spicy at all, actually. It needs a little bit more salt. So this much. And that's it. High blood pressure to the max, guys. It has a little pinch of spice, but nothing crazy. Oh, the tomatillo, a little chunky. Um, but yeah, overall it's good. Ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for it being for uh, too long, but I'd rather show you guys how I make my salsa. If you guys want to try it, you guys can put less tomatillo and more peppers. Um, it'll be less sour. Tomatillo is a little sour, so you guys can add cilantro. But this one, this is how my mother-in-law does it um, from what I've seen. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, go ahead and try it. Let me know if you guys like it. Um, like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. Thank you, guys. Bye.